So having been blogging for around about three years or so now, one of the most common questions I hear, and I'm generally starting to ask myself now as well, is when should I start going after much more competitive keywords there? After all, why spend all your time writing a blog post that only gets around about 50 page views every single month, when you could be spending that time writing a blog post that gets maybe 5,000 page views every single month? In the video today then guys, I wanted to break down my top three metrics and top three parameters that you need to overcome before you start going after those higher search volume higher competition keywords. So let's jump into it. First metric then that I would look at is if your blog is simply over two years old. So while you might want to go after really high competition, high search volume keywords right away, because let's be honest, they're super, super tempting. If you were to write a blog post when your website first gets going on where to buy an iPhone, your website will absolutely be destroyed in the search. Sadly, site authority and posting ready are incredibly important for website SEO. And so if you haven't overcome this just yet, I would most definitely start by going after lower competition low hanging fruit. Typically then look for forum search results in the Google search would be a good place to start and then aim to write around about 100 or so posts covering off these types of posts. So once you've done this consistently for around about a two year period publishing maybe 100 or so posts on you know one particular niche you can then start exploring options to go after these wider keywords there. You start beating the competition. Another key metric then that you need to look at is if your existing posts that you've written maybe in your first year or so are indeed beating that higher authority competition in the Google search. For example, if you run a website all around sales and you know your posts are actually beating industry leaders like HubSpot, for example, or Cognizant, this shows to Google that you are you know, a trustworthy website, that you are an authority website, at least within your individual niche. And as a result of that, you can hopefully start writing after these more competitive keywords there. If you want a quick way to find this out, use tools like SEMrush or Ahrefs, just to get an idea of how many of your posts are actually ranking in number one. And if those those tools would describe them as being relatively high competition there. That's probably a good place to start. Finally, the last kind of key indicator I would use is that your site covers multiple aspects. Niche websites are most definitely becoming rarer and rarer with most website owners now trying to kind of pin down and double down in becoming authority websites going forward. For example, your website might have something like, you know, 100 posts or so on snowboarding. But as the site grows, you start talking more around things like, you know, other winter sports, for example, or other extreme sports. If then you're ranking for multiple sub niches within your wider niche, it's just another fantastic opportunity to go after those more competitive keywords. Now, don't get me wrong, these niches still most definitely have to be somewhat related so for example if you're writing an outdoor blog you'd cover things like you know tents and backpacking and all that stuff you can't write a blog all around cars and then jump directly to like rabbits or something random like that that's not gonna work but generally speaking you know if they're in the general same ballpark niche and maybe you're winning a couple of different snippets or a couple of first place positions across all those different topics there, then you can definitely double down and build authority in all of those different sub niches as opposed to just the one. Oh, dearie me, that's a light sound, wasn't it? <laughs> so there you have it, blogging family. That's basically all the things that I would do to determine you know, if you want to go after more competitive keywords. As always, however, if you are interested in more videos around you know, blogging, side hustles, personal development, sales, absolutely smash the like and subscribe button as they both genuinely do help on the channel. And until next week's video, I'll leave you to it, gang. All the best for now. Have a good one. Bye.